Hi, grandkids. I heard that your cousin Mira really likes listening to poems written by Shel Silverstein. So I'm going to be reading some of his poetry books, but I thought I'd start with this one. A Giraffe and a Half. Shel Silverstein wrote some crazy funny rhymes for this book. He also drew the cartoons. I hope I don't get too tongue twisted while I read. A Giraffe and a Half by Shel Silverstein. If you had a giraffe and he stretched another half, you would have a giraffe and a half. If he put on a hat and inside lived a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat. If you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you'd have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. If you glued a rose to the tip of his nose, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. If a bumbly old bee stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. If he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe. If you gave him a flute and he played tooty toot, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute. If he used a chair to comb his hair, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. If he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoes playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk. If he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. If he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike.
If a blubbery whale got a hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail. If he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike on his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole. But if you brought him a pole to climb out of the hole and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail, and he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike and he left the fat dragon because his wagon was sagging, And he gave his chair to a tired old bear, and he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. And he told that old snake to go jump in the lake, and a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose while the bee on his knee flew away with a flea. And he put the shoe with the glue on you and that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute and he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. Whew, I got through that pretty well. Just a couple of little slips here and there. I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed that Shel Silverstein book. Bye. Love you.